the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Inviting you to spend your five minutes in listening, meditating, and praying on the Word of God as you begin your day. Blessing and peace to you and all your family members. May the Lord Jesus bless you with love and peace. December 31st, 2022. Saturday, the seventh day, in the octave of Christmas. Prepare your mind and heart as you listen to the Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh my God and King, I beg you to grant me the grace, during this time of meditation, that all my intentions, actions, and operations may be directed purely to the praise and service of your Divine Majesty. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to saint john chapter 1 verses 1 to 18 in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was in the beginning with god all things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came for testimony, to bear witness to the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness to the light. The true light that enlightens every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not, but to all who received him, who believed in his name. He gave power to become children of God, who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Full of grace and truth we have beheld His glory. Glory as of the only Son from the Father. John bore witness to Him, and cried. This was He of whom I said. He who comes after me ranks before me. For he was before me. And from his fullness have we all received. Grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. The only Son. Who is in the bosom of the Father. He has made him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray and meditate on this Gospel passage. Why does John the Evangelist begin his Gospel account with a description of the Word of God and the creation of the universe and humankind? How might the beginning of John's Gospel be linked with the beginning of the first book of Genesis? The Word of God was a common expression among the Jews. God's word in the Old Testament scriptures is an active, creative, and dynamic word. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made. We become partakers of Christ's divine nature. If we are going to behold the glory of God, by our being united in Jesus, God becomes our Father. 
and we become his sons and daughters. Do you thank the Father for sending his only begotten Son to redeem you and to share with you his glory? Let us pause to pray silently and ask the Lord Jesus to bless you with all the graces you need for today. Prayer Almighty God and Father of Light, Your eternal word leaped down from heaven. In the silent watches of the night, open our hearts to receive his life and increase our vision with the rising of dawn, that our lives may be filled with his glory and his peace. Amen.